welcome to my channel ss academy today we will study parallel circuits in parallel circuits two or more than two resistors are connected together parallel to each other therefore there are two or more paths for the electricity to flow if one of the components for example one of the light bulbs is burnt out the other stay lit current will continue to flow in all the other paths as the circuit is one with different paths for the charge to move through as an example of parallel circuits think of a river that has been divided up into smaller streams however all the streams come back to the same point to form the river once again the total resistance of the parallel circuit or equivalent resistance is not equal to the sum of the individual resistances for two resistors in parallel the total resistance is less than that of either resistor and is found with the following formula by few simple steps we arrive at this expression for equivalent resistance r is equal to r1 times r2 over r1 plus r2 now as an example consider these two bulbs of two resistances 20 ohm and 10 ohm respectively if we substitute these values here this equivalent resistance will be equal to 20 times 10 over 20 plus 10 which is about 6.67 ohms now 6.67 ohm which is the value of this equivalent resistance is less than either of these resistors if number of resistors in the parallel circuit goes on increasing the overall current in the circuit increases now why it is so again according to ohms law v is equal to ir obviously if number of resistors in the parallel circuit goes on increasing the equivalent resistance will be less so if equivalent resistance is less then current will be more at the junction current branches like 6 ampere current is branching out here 2 ampere here and 4 ampere here it depends upon the value of the resistor so according to ohms law v is equal to ir so we can calculate the current through each resistor if the value of potential difference is given the flow of electricity is divided between each path according to the resistance along each route the sum of the currents through each route or the branch currents must be equal to the total current through the source so i total will be equal to i1 plus i2 voltage is the same across each component of the parallel circuit that is vt or the voltage from the source will be equal to v1 it will be equal to v2 and it will be equal to v3 now how we can find out this expression obviously we need to apply ohms law again as value of current depends upon the value of the resistor in each case so it can be proved easily that voltage drop across parallel component is same example <clears throat> now here we are given a circuit actually it's a combination of parallel and series circuits here we have to calculate different values first of all we will calculate total resistance of the circuit then current through the cell in third case we will find out voltage across each resistor and number 4 current passing through 15 ohm resistor number 1 total resistance the first we will calculate parallel resistance equivalent resistance of this parallel combination 15 times 5 over 15 plus 5 it will be 3.75 ohm then this equivalent resistance is in series with this bulb c and d so applying formula for calculating the equivalent resistance in series circuit rt is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 considering this r3 and applying substituting these values of 5 and 10 ohms it is r total will be this much number 2 current through the cell now in order to calculate current through the cell again we apply ohms law v is equal to i into r so current will be equal to voltage over total resistance it is 0.53 amperes in third case we have to calculate voltage across each resistor so voltage across 10 ohm resistor will be equal to 
current through that resistor into value of resistance 5.3 volts voltage across 5 ohm resistor again because it is in series it will carry the same current now voltage across the parallel part we have to calculate through this expression as the equivalent resistance is in series with this so we apply the formula for series circuits v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 so v3 which is the voltage across voltage drop across parallel part it is 2.05 ohm now in last part we have to calculate current passing through 15 ohm resistor again applying ohms law i will be equal to v over r so voltage drop across parallel combination is 2.05 volts it means it will be same here and here as well so divided by 15 value of current through 15 ohm resistor will be 0.14 ampere now advantages of parallel components just to recap maximum voltage across each resistor the total resistance is less than any one resistor therefore bigger current and maximum brightness in a balloon maximum current if one component is not working it will not affect the other components for next class we will start nuclear physics we have actually done the first part in this series which was about radioactivity and nuclear decays alpha beta and gamma decays thank you for watching please like subscribe and share my channel and press the bell icon to get notified of my latest videos. Thank you.